Especially with larger pumps, larger pump start relays may not be compatible with the power output of the ESP LXME2 or typical controllers. Rainbird recommends using Rainbird PSR series pump start relays, which incorporate a unique double relay system. Rainbird uses a smaller ice cube relay, which the controller energizes and in turn energizes a larger relay, sending power to the pump. Your wiring from the common and master valve from the controller wires to the ice cube relay. The wires from the pump start relay connect here to the base module. We'll show the ProSmart module with two master valves in the second part of this video. In this case, the pump start relay is set up just like a master valve would be connected. On the setup screen in the ESP LXME2, we'll go to master valves. It's going to ask you which master valve to set up. We have only the base module and one master valve, so we'll select Next. Since this is a pump, it's going to be a normally closed pump, which is how all pump start relays operate. Select Next and enter the number of valves or pumps. In this case, we have only one pump start relay, but we could toggle this setting to two if we had two of them. We'll keep the default value of one and select Done. Next, we'll toggle down to Station Setup. Select Next twice. Within stations, we can adjust whether the pump runs with that station or not. So we have MV1, which is a normally closed master valve, and it's currently set as Yes to run. But we could also change it to No. In this case, we want to select Yes. Select Done, and continue setting the rest of the stations. In this scenario, we have our ProSmart module installed and the module has two master valves. We have master valve 2 set up on a pump start relay and master valve 1 set up on a normally closed master valve. Turn the dial to setup, select master valves and set up master valve 1. We're setting this up as a normally closed master valve. Select next. We have one master valve set up. Select Done, select Next, go back into Master Valves, and toggle Master Valve 2. Note that MV2 can also be used as a normally closed master valve. You'll see the default is set to Unused. Let's change it to Pump. Select Next to set it. We have one Pump Start Relay set up on Master Valve 2. Select Done. Next, we'll toggle down to Station Setup. We're going to set up Station 1 as a drip zone. So we want to run the master valve, but not the pump. Select Next, toggle down to Master Valve Pumps, and we see that Master Valve 1 and Pump are both set to Yes. Again, in this scenario, we want the master valve to turn on, but we don't want the pump to turn on. So let's toggle the pump to Off. Select Done, and go back. And now we're going to set up Station 2. In this example, we'll say this is a rotor station, which does need a pump start. So we'll go into the master valves and make sure that it's set up to have master valve 1 turning on with the station and master valve 2 also turning on with the station. This looks good, so we'll press Done and we're all set. One last thing we want to demonstrate is under the Diagnostic settings. In Diagnostics, you can view the master valve type, including whether they're normally open, normally closed, or set to pump. It also shows the status of the master valves.